Hello and welcome to The Office Button, a Microsoft Office tutorial presented by Log On to Learn, powered by KnowledgeWave. In this session, we will explore the many features of the Office Button and Program Options dialog box. Possibly the most important feature to understand in the Microsoft Office 2007 suite is the Office Button. The Office Button replaced the old file menu. When I hover over it, I get a screen tip telling me to click here to open, save, or print and to see everything else you can do with your document. And by clicking on it, we can see some familiar features as well as some new features. This is what we'll uncover today. The features under the Office button are New, Open, Save, Save As, Print, Prepare, Send, Publish, Close, and the Word Options dialog box. Notice that if these features have further options, they have a right facing arrow and the detailed options appear on the right hand side of the Office button. Let's look at these options in more depth. By clicking the New button, you will access the New Document dialog box which gives you a variety of options for ways to create a new document. Open simply opens any already saved document on your computer or network. Save saves your existing document. Save As. From here we can choose to save our document in the normal Word version or if we're going to be working with people who are using older versions of Word we can save it as a 97 to 2003 document. This will enable people with older versions of Word to open our Office 2007 document. We also have the ability to save a document as a PDF directly from Word. This is accomplished by downloading a plugin that will run with Word. Once installed, you can save any Word document as a PDF. By hovering over the print button, we can see we have three options. Print, Quick Print, and Print Preview. By clicking Print, we will get the Print dialog box where we can adjust our printer, pages, numbers of copies, and other features. By clicking Quick Print, we will get one copy of our document printed, no questions asked. In Print Preview, is just that. That is the preview of our document before we send it to print. One thing I like to do, because we do not have a print preview button, I right click on this and choose to add it to my quick access toolbar. Once I've done that, I now have a print preview button in my quick access toolbar. Now let's look at our prepare options. There are a lot of options here for inspecting and looking at your existing document. Properties is for examining the metadata of your file. Inspect document allows you to look and see if any hidden data has been attached to your file without your knowledge. Encrypting a document allows you to add encryption. This is one you may want to be careful of, as well as restricting permission. Consult your IT staff to see what the best way is for you to protect your documents if this is a needed feature. We can also add a digital signature. These are usually granted by a third party, and you may not have those in your current office environment. Mark as final is a glorified read-only function. And finally, we have Run Compatibility Checker. If you are going to be saving your document for use with older versions of Word, it's good to run this first to make sure none of the features you're using are incompatible with other versions of Word. Send. Here, we can either email our document onto other people as an attachment straight out of Word, or we can send it as an internet fax. Publish. These are more advanced features. If you are publishing straight to a blog, this is a great feature. You can just click the blog button. Document Management Server and Create Document Workspace are both related to Microsoft SharePoint. If your office is not using Microsoft SharePoint, 
you don't need to worry about these features. Close. Clicking the close button will close you out of your current document. Word options. Clicking the word options button will launch the word options dialog box and it is here that we can customize the way Word works. Once in the Word Options dialog box, we can see it's divided into sections. The popular section has some commonly used features. Display lets you set how the page will display and how characters will display. Proofing. Proofing is where you can adjust your autocorrect options as well as how spell check will work and your grammar check. Save allows you to determine what the default file type is that you will save to as well as the default location where your documents will save. Of course at any moment you can override these choices. These are purely the defaults. The advanced option has many many features here. If there's some way that you want to customize Word I would recommend coming here and looking at all your options. Customize is where we can customize the quick access toolbar. Add-ins helps us manage any add-in programs we may be using. The Trust Center is where we can set our security settings for the entire application. It's also where we can determine how macros will be handled by Word. Resources is where we can get updates, run diagnostics if we're having problems with our application, and activate our instance of Microsoft Office. We can also access Microsoft Office Online and all the features that come with that. One other feature of the Office button is the ability to see recently opened documents. They appear on the right side in the order in which they were opened, most recent on the top. By default, 17 documents will appear here. If there's a document, however, that you want to show up here no matter how many you open, I can click on this pin on the right-hand side and that document will remain in my recent documents until I remove it. The Office button is just one button in the Office Suite, but understanding what features are here and how to manipulate them to get a better result in Word will make you more productive and less frustrated. We hope this session has been informative. Thank you for choosing Log On to Learn, powered by KnowledgeWave, educating the world anytime, anywhere.